First, first, you know where first is, okay? Push the clutch down, that's it, first. Put it in first. So this is Dan, he's burning me ivy off because obviously what, what needs to happen is this asbestos needs to come down and the ivy is all over it so it will be too hard to get off essentially so we're going to burn this section just here and this section here and then we're going to get some geysers in to sort it out for us basically because what, what we've got here is uh, blue asbestos as well as white and I don't fancy uh, getting involved in that. So we'll just help them along a little bit and then we'll get them in to sort it out. Um, just over here. Today we've just spent the day just sorting out just this area here. 
and that's just <coughs> cough. some pads here so the whole area what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have two shipping containers just one here and one there and in the meantime we've been messing about on a dumper and we've put in all of this crushed concrete just there so we've ramped up to the field and then my bonnet's open on the van because I burn it out a little bit kind of uh, pushing it a bit too hard with a load of blocks in the back hopefully I won't kill it Dan's sorting that bit out for me, burning the ivy off. I thought I'd bolt the base down to, well, the kiosk down to the base. Well, we need to use some big fat bolts, like this, crew bolts they're called. I did order some that were a bit easier to use than this, but Royal Mail, brilliant as they are, just didn't, didn't get to get them to me on time so I've got some of these they'll be a little bit more difficult um, let me just show you and then that one will be a bit easier so yeah big fat M10s because obviously we can't have the electricity box going over we'll get cracking Dan's loving a bit of fire he loves that kind of shit so I promised him if you come over and help me he can play with some fire so that's what he's doing. Hopefully he doesn't burn the rest of the barn down. So just here we need to remove these bolts and take that bottom section out. We'll cut some holes, one, 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 and uh, we'll fill it over the base, bolt it down and then we'll stick the, the top bit back on. Man. So I've just placed it over the top and then I can draw around the outside essentially once I've done some fiddling and then I'll know exactly where this is going to go and uh, I'll be able to mark off the edges and cut my holes in the right places. So just here that's where the main uh, power is going to come in off of the pole. That one is going to go to my cart lodge that one's going to go to the main barn this little one here is just um to earth because this is if you like a temporary building supply and they like to call it a tbs so at the moment i need to do what's called a tt earth i think it is uh, where i put a grounding rod in so i've got that bit coming out there obviously i'll pick up a grounding rod, a couple of stakes, and then after I've completed the build, uh, they can then come back in and reroute the earth and go into the neutral, I think it is. Um, but yeah, I won't do it just yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure off the back and off the side to know where the centre of this is and for each of them I'll transfer that onto here and I'll know where to cut my holes. So 
SD Astro, my swim a bit, that's 16 mil. And, uh, obviously, we've got no electricity, so uh, that's gonna start the generator. <laughs> okay this one's okay this one's okay and this one's absolutely mashed so I tried to bang it in with the screw in or bolt in and uh, then I tried to pull that out because sometimes these cases collapse obviously that was a bad idea and then I tried to screw it out and I had an allen key on there snapped the bloody Allen key. Look at that. So we need to try and get that out now, somehow, and uh, try it again. So it's a different day, I thought I'd come down here just to sort a few things out for the containers. Uh, I had to speak to the um, actual container company to make sure that they can get the truck in. So I realised I didn't really explain what was uh, happening before, so just here is uh, where we've ramped up into the field um, so we can take any um, dirt or concrete or anything like that that we break out from the barn, dump it in the field somewhere. So just here, I had to take out a load of dirt as well. You see where the cone is. Um, that's just gonna be like a general storage area. So if we uh, walk up the slope. So that's where the containers are going. That's all like leveled off. And then this was, where it wasn't accessible before. So there was a fence I took out. That's the field. There's a lovely um, valley just down there. Looks really nice. So hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of that when we do the landscaping. Um, this area is uh, technically agricultural. Um, hopefully we'll be able to get part of it included in the uh, curtilage of the actual house. We'll see with the planning. And then just down here is where Lou put all the dirt in a dumper. I'll take you down and uh, I'll show you what she's done. So yeah, when I said uh, just dump it on the field somewhere, I didn't know that she would just do it everywhere. Everywhere. So the other day, um, I was here trying to finish off the uh, electricity box. Um, I realized that I didn't explain the draw cord is actually to pull through the electricity cable uh, when the guys come to connect me up. So I was having a bit of aggro with the, um, the old bolts. And uh, you, if you remember, I told you that these ones would probably be difficult. I had to use two of these at the time and uh yeah they're f anyway so now what i'm gonna have to do is obviously whack them out and do it again now these actually turned up and roll them out this is what you want to get and um they'll just go in 
really easily. So I'll just get that done. And then uh, I haven't really got much more to do or that I can do today. So in this area, this is where um, the containers are going. I realized obviously I didn't really film what was happening. So I've kind of leveled out the whole area and uh, dug out holes, filled it with crushed concrete and put these blocks in. And then obviously the whole area needs to be leveled in terms of where the containers are because otherwise it'll rock and I won't be able to open up the doors and stuff. So um, what we've done is obviously we've worked from one corner and then went across and we banged in um, pegs just so we could get the level on. And then you just basically do that and then we worked our way around. So it's near enough there, it should be all right. And uh, once the uh, containers go on, everything should be good. So I thought I'd come over here just to enjoy a bit of the sun and uh, sign off. So, so far I've uh, whacked up one YouTube video um, and so I've learned how to edit kind of it's really bloody hard so uh, I am struggling but um, hopefully I've set a bar and we can only get better from here I'm not really sure what kind of content uh, people want to see it's difficult I personally like uh, stuff where someone actually shows you exactly what they're doing and then you can figure out how to do it yourself. Um, but then other people might just want to see like lifestyle kind of things, um, just something that they can aspire to. I'm sure over the next few months or so, we'll figure it out and I'll get better and better. Um, so yeah, we'll uh, leave it there. See you later.